Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kahane and you're watching theCUBE on the ground from the IBM Data First launch party here in New York City. I'm here with Jennifer Shin, Senior Principal Data Scientist at the Nielsen Company. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Two cubes in one day, you were on earlier, on a panel. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about the panel? Sure, so we had a panel this afternoon, hour-long panel, with some of the best data scientists out there, yeah. definitely people in the industry. And we just talked about everything from women in data science to the field itself. To, for our viewers, what's so exciting about you know data scientists? Can you make a plug for more people to get into uh, the field? Well, I think it's a great opportunity for scientists to have a outlet to be able to show their expertise in, in okay. domains and you know in real world scenarios that they maybe didn't have before, right? So I think it's a great opportunity for anyone who's a scientist or engineer to really demonstrate what their expertise is. Right. So I'd love to take a little uh, dig deeper into your role. Could you tell us a little bit about your job, the day to day? Sure, so I do everything from you know working on university engagements, like right now we're working with Cornell Tech and uh, you know doing a student project. I put a company challenge out there for them and we're working with the team to help them actually uh, build up a prototype for something that hopefully we'll be able to offer our customers one day. Everything from that to working with uh, you know data scientists within the Nielsen company and leading you know a lot of the initiatives in there as well. Fantastic. And for people who don't know, I know the Nielsen Company is huge, but could you tell our viewers uh, what the Nielsen Company does? Well, probably the most well-known thing that we do is TV ratings, but we've uh -huh. actually branched out from that. We do like um, digital content as well these days, so we're actually kind of redefining what our role is right now. Great. So I just want to talk about the party for a second. What sure. do you think? Uh, a lot of energy going on here. Uh, how would you describe the party? Honestly, it's, it's packed down there. I think I tweeted it. It's very, very packed. A lot of people. Great food. IBM's great really great food. food. Yeah. And I think it's a lot of interest in both being a data scientist and finding out what tools are out there, as well as being a business user and trying to figure out how can I use these data science tools for my business. Is this the new IBM? You know, I, normally I don't think IBM would throw a party at such a cool venue. I saw jeans during the presentations from Bob Picciano. Are they changing? Is there a new IBM out there? Well, you probably know that better than me, right? Having worked at IBM. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I think jeans is pretty common among yeah. you know people from Silicon Valley, among people who are developers. I don't think that's new. But I will say IBM, I think, has been reinventing itself for a couple of years now. And I think we're, we're starting to see it kind of really define themselves within the, in the space of data science. I agree. Any last words for the viewers out there? Anything um, you want to leave them with? Yeah, I would say like, you know, definitely check out the, the tool that you know, IBM's just released and see if it's a good fit for what you're trying to do out there in data science. Great, and if people want to see that tweet you sent out, what is your Twitter handle? Oh, at 8 Solutions, the number 8, 8 Solutions. All right, let's get her some more followers. Uh, everyone, thank you for watching theCUBE. We're here live at the IBM Data First launch.